What's up, mortals, and welcome to a very special episode of First Gen, where I don't play a video game, but I try to open a bottle of champagne with a weapon. Yes, you heard me correctly. Now, first things first, other than getting yourself a nice bottle of champagne, don't try it at home. I'm just going to put that right on the line, promise, right now. Do it. No, you too. You in the back. Yes. Good. Now that you've promised not to do this, I'm going to teach you how. First thing you do is you get a nice bottle of champagne, California will do. I would probably try to go for French, a little more expensive, but it's a little thicker glass. Next thing, safety. Point it away from yourself. Obviously you don't want to be swinging a sword towards yourself because it's kind of awkward to do that and I don't really necessarily want to advocate Harry Carey or however you pronounce it. Next thing you do is there is a seam line on the bottle. you got to find that so you know which way to orientate it. You take all of the foil off the top and you dunk the entire neck in ice. What's that, what that's going to do is it's going to cool down this, make it brittle. I'm not exactly sure if that's true or not, just something I read. Now, the most important thing, other than not doing this inside, is the weapon. Now, most of the time, this was actually made by the French when they were riding in their cavalry days. They just take the bottle out, take the saber, line it up, and knock the top right off. Obviously, I don't really have a saber. I do have a katana. Nice full tank katana. Really nice weight. Nice curve. Most people like katanas. But then I got to thinking. Would Hephaestus, as in myself, actually use a katana to open a bottle of champagne? Hmm. Well, doing a little research in what I like, being a Viking and all, and being a smith god, at least named after one, I don't think I would use a katana to open a bottle of champagne. No, no. I would use a battle axe. Alright, so here we are doing the second phase, which is actually opening the bottle. As you can see, I'm obviously outside. I have my weapon, my safety gear. Now, the only other thing you're going to need, drinking glass. In my case, drinking horn. First thing you do, Take all of the tin foil off of this thing. Whether it's actually tin or not, I have no idea. Just remove it. You want to make sure you go all the way down, getting all of that foil off. There we go. Foil off the top. Now, keep your finger on the top of this so the cork just doesn't fly out. Twist it off. Come on. All right. Put your hole in the punt. That's what it's called. that. Make sure you swing through. You want to actually commit to this, all right? All right. Wonder where that thing went. Shout out if you guys see it. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, no, aha! There you are. Nice. All right. I would say that was a success. It's a nice little clean cut. Cheers, and have a good one.